Take the BMW GS 1250. Big, robustly built, and the best-selling adventure motorcycle worldwide, designed for tackling the toughest terrain and tracks. Then mix in 57 talented riders from 15 nations for a tough off-road tour across Albania, mixed with special stages that will push each and everyone to their limits. Welcome to the BMW Motorrad International GS Trophy 2022. It all started in 2008 in North Africa, went on to South Africa in 2010 and South America in 2012, followed by North America in 2014. Next was Thailand in 2016 and Mongolia two years later, with New Zealand in 2020 being the last stop in the trophy's exotic journey. This year's GS Trophy is being held in Europe for the first time. And Dr. Markus Schramm, CEO of BMW Motorrad, tells us why. It's all about the GS spirit, it's teamwork, although it is a competition, and we're always looking to make it even better. So we found uh, in the last two years, with a lot of effort of the marshals and um, the, the scouting agency, we found Albania. It's actually for the first time that we are in Europe. And uh, Albania is a perfect off-road country. Albania's diverse network of off-road trails, which connects much of the country's rural and farming communities, is the perfect backdrop for the GS Trophy in 2022. High mountain passes, rugged country roads, and the soft sand of the coastline are the ingredients making Albania the perfect stage for this year's trophy, challenging both rider and machine to the max. After winning their respective national qualifiers, both the male and female teams were invited to come to Albania and experience the BMW Make Life a Ride spirit, going up against one another in a competition like no other. Before the adventure starts, the participants arrive from all over the world. First, they have to set up camp, preparing the tents, which will be their homes for the upcoming week. The BMW Motora GS Trophy all started because of one bike, called the GS. Built to master the most challenging on- and off-road conditions, the big boxer engine guarantees power and torque in any given situation. While the ingenious telelever suspension system provides traction and confidence for the rider in the trickiest conditions. So, who are all these lucky riders? And where do they come from? Well, let's meet at least some of them. And action! We are the Latin American team you are here to kick us. No! We are Team Japan! We will pass you by silent, like ninja. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Allez la France! Allez la France! We are Mexico team, and viva Mexico cabrones! Salty! Tirut! Pi! Sun! Hello! Uh, where are you from? Me, Korea Army. Korea Air Force. Korea Navy. Uh, we are Korea, Aven Korea Avengers. We are Team, team Korea. Korea! We're Team USA! Ready to rock! Ready to roll! GS Trophy! We are GS Trophy Team the Netherlands! No road to rough, our bikes are tough! And we eat stones for breakfast! We are Team, team India. India! Stay calm and ride! GS Trophy! Hello, we are Ladies Team South Africa! We are two of the big five! GS Trophy! More than 100 identical machines are waiting for the riders and are ready to go. The big moment has come. After two years of excited anticipation, Dr. Marcus Schramm is about to make way for the participants to finally get on their bikes. Are you ready? Yeah! I hereby declare the International GS Trophy in Albania as open.
finally we are here in Albania. That is so great for the International GS Trophy 2022. And it is always again great to see the people coming from everywhere in the world, coming from the US, from China, from South Africa, meeting here. And the uniting thing is the GS. It's just a motorcycle, but that is the reason why they all meet here and become friends. And that gives me always again goosebumps. And I think everybody can't wait to really start now and get the thing running. Just waiting for a long time. I first touched my bike. So cool. <laughs> it's amazing. This is just beautiful. And I love the colors. They are just so elegant. And with the name of it oh. and the flag on it, it's perfect. Yes. It's made for us. Yes. This is so perfect. This is the best part of my life. I think this is the best experience of all my life. Oh, I'm so excited! I expect a lot of fun, uh, but also it, uh, it will be challenging because uh, I've seen the other ladies riding. Um, it will be hard, but uh, it's an honor to ride with them. Fun, fair play, and definitely lots of communication because, you know, ladies are more communicative than men. Eh? <laughs> Now it's up to the riders to adjust the handlebars, levers and electronics to their liking as they get ready for the week of their lifetimes. Tomorrow we get to a big, big adventure and it's All fun. All right, Team here's Germany. Guiding these lucky participants are the GS Trophy Marshals. Every single one of them provides a perfect mix of travel experience and motorcycle skills. Their job is almost like that of a Sherpa leading an expedition up Mount Everest. First, they must explore and navigate the terrain, keep all participants safe and help anyone in need. A tough job that comes with a lot of responsibility. Before sunset, participants, marshals and staff come together in true GS spirit, celebrating the feeling of togetherness, all fueled by sharing the same passion. <laughs> to end the first day in a relaxed atmosphere, everyone gets treated to a cultural Albanian dance presentation. The traditional music, costumes and choreography reveal much about this specific region. Now the participants can sit back, enjoy the sunset and show their love for Albania before the next day when the GS Trophy finally begins. After a short night's sleep, it's early morning on day one. Good morning! The teams must first complete their new morning routine, packing their tents and belongings before dropping them off at the waiting luggage truck. Finally, we are riding. We are waiting for this for such a long time. <laughs> Stefanie Grund, event organizer of the GS Trophy, has been working towards this moment for almost two years. Now there are just minutes to go. Team Mexico, Team Japan, it's five minutes to go. I have goosebumps all the way through. This is so amazing. Uh, I can't really imagine that it starts now. It's just crazy for me. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. Yeah, we, we're shaking, but we don't know what to expect today, but it definitely is going to be a great adventure. Good morning and welcome to the 2022 BMW Motorrad International GS Trophy here in El you can hear the bikes running behind us. All the participants are leaving on five minute intervals and what they don't know is they're gonna pass under the arch and 10 minutes from now be stopped at their first special test for the competition. Let's go check out the action. Are you ready? Okay, gentlemen, go! Then 
barely 15 minutes after starting, we are overlooking the coast. The first special stage of this year's GS Trophy, called the Welcome Trial, awaits the participants. It's designed to test the rider's ability to control their nerves under pressure and to win the first points of the entire event. Now, the Welcome Trial is a timed event, and all the rules of a trials event apply. They have to stay within the boundaries, they can't put a foot down, and if they drop a bike, their team members are allowed to help them, but they have to finish within five minutes. Actually, we're very, very used to this terrain in Mexico, so we felt very good. Uh, very cool, uh, no big difficult, uh, good. A few kilometers later, further downhill on an off-road track, the participants have to pass through a section of deep gravel and sand. This proves to be very challenging, since it requires momentum and balance. Otherwise, the riders may stall or fall and need help from their teammates. That was amazing teamwork. And teamwork is everything. After successfully mastering this first fairly challenging section, the teams head deep into the Albanian countryside. Little do they know that the toughest part of the day, a steep and rocky uphill trail, is still ahead. This is a tough section. You can see it's getting tougher as each rider goes through and tears up this course more. Especially for riders that are shorter, they can't get a foot down. This is really rough and this is only day one. The relentless heat, combined with the technically demanding hillside, pushes many of the participants to their limits. But thanks to the legendary resilience of the GS1250 and the never give up mindset of the riders and teams, the participants help each other to the top ready to face more of this tough terrain. Taking in the fantastic views and constantly changing landscapes as they cross the mountains of Albania is a spectacular reward for the participants. Crisscrossing riverbeds, valleys and hills, Passing small hidden villages, the teams receive a warm welcome from the locals. This gives them a first taste of the Albanian people's hospitality. <laughs> After making it deep into the Holter Canyon, the teams arrive at the second special stage of day one. Welcome to the second special stage of the International GS Trophy 22. Here we are, look at that, at the Holta Canyon in the middle of Albania. Fantastic surrounding, beautiful area for a nice special stage. And we have prepared an enduro lab for you. And the details you will get from Mike. Okay, coming in from the, from the dirty, muddy section, you have to cross the river, which is quite slippery due to the uh, mud inside and on the stones. You go around over this around this fleck, which is a really tight turn with a lot of deep, soft sand in the back. Then you can back up over the river, catch up some speed, which then you have to break down and come around this section, which is already rocky, and you go out directly to the start-finish line. This stage calls on the riders to perfectly judge their speed and balance, all under time pressure. Spin the rear wheel too much and you might lose control. Water crossings can turn into a lottery, as you cannot see the rocks underneath the running water. Touch the brake lever a little too hard and you may skid on the rocks. 
The women's teams, while competing in their own category, have no extra advantages. They have to master the exact same course as their male counterparts. This extremely challenging stage highlights the core tenet of the BMW Motorrad GS Trophy. It's all about teamwork and bonding with each other. It's nice to start the, start the week the way we have. Yeah. So, yeah, happy with how we're riding as a team and it's all going. And Yeah, looking forward to the rest of the week. After a great day and many hours of riding across the most diverse tracks and landscapes, the GS Trophy riders eventually make it to Berat, a historical World Heritage Site and one of the cultural centres of Albania. Berat is also called the City of 1000 Windows, as it is overlooked by a 13th century Byzantine fortress. This will also be base camp after this stunning first day. It was amazing, good uphills, good downhills. What more can you ask? Uh, it was fantastic. We had a great ride, man. Uh, we were riding with Team USA, and it was just pedal to the metal the whole time. The terrain was fantastic, the hospitality, the setup, and the people of Albania, man. Like, we met everyone just waving out. We met, like, a hundred kids, and everyone on the street just cheering us on. So, couldn't be a better first day. Tired but happy, the riders are now left to set up camp and prepare their tents for the night. I'm... It's very exciting to see what is going to be tomorrow. All the landscapes, all the roads, all is perfect. A well-deserved dinner with all the teams, followed by the leaderboard and presentation of the day's winners, rounds off day one. A day none of the riders will ever forget. Next morning starts early for the participants, followed by a hearty breakfast and the opportunity to get to know more of the other teams. Then it's time to put their gear on, take some photos and videos for social media, and get ready for the day ahead. Because today's route will be another challenging day of mainly off-road riding. But before the engines start, a special stage on the ancient cobblestone road awaits the teams. Tom Weinmeier, sports director of the GS Trophy, explains this special stage to the first team. Good morning. Today, special stage number one is the Metzler Wheel Challenge. Okay? So therefore, as you can hear, this tire will be deflated. So you have no air inside. Okay? Then what we want you to do is you get your gear on as soon as we say go. You push down the motorcycle down to the Metzler Flex. You take out the front wheel, you run with the front wheel, you pump up the wheel, then you run back, you mount the wheel back in the motorcycle, you tighten everything, okay? And when you're finished, then you take the motorcycle from the two flags into the tent. Three, two, one, go! This challenge invites the riders to make mistakes. The run raises the heart rate from the outset, then the riders must find the correct tools and the right sequence for taking out the front wheel, all while wearing their riding gear and racing against the clock. This might not be a riding challenge, but it is a technical problem solver that every adventure rider should be on top of, to help either themselves or others. With the first special stage of the second day completed, the GS Trophy teams leave Berat and hit the dirt. They will now ride through the stunning surroundings of one of Albania's highest and most prominent mountains, the Valamara. The GS Trophy route takes place on all types of terrain, from hard-packed dirt to loose gravel and bigger rocks that are difficult to ride over, and for the shorter riders, even more of a struggle. But riders and teams come together and are always ready to lend each other a hand or give advice on how to ride the difficult sections. You have to keep a momentum, no stop. Then hit the traction on the gear. That's it. The tough trails and rising temperatures give the competitors a heavy workout, barely allowing the riders a split second without their full concentration.
so everyone takes a short spring water break to freshen up. But let's hear what they think so far. Yeah, it went very well. Some big boulders, but nothing, uh, no trouble. But the heat is the most challenging part for me. The curb, too much rock, and uh, the wind are uh, really uh, high. Oh, if we have today. Oh. Ah. The quick pit stop allows the riders to refresh, recharge, and do some team building as they head towards their next special stage. The Akrapovich Drift Challenge is the day's second special stage. It's a race against the stopwatch while testing the rider's precision, speed, and balance. Penalty points will be added whenever a foot touches the ground, cones are knocked over, or riders leave the track. Second day of the GS Trophy, second special test, the Akrapovich Challenge. Riding a big adventure motorcycle against the clock around a course like this takes skill, courage, and the ability to perfectly judge when to hit the gas and when to pull the brake. Fellow motorcycle riders appreciate the talent on display. It is where I belong. I love these people. I love the camaraderie, I love the riding. I love watching a sport that I understand and enjoy. It's very special, it's good stuff. I was going to go slow and take it easy. Yes. <laughs> but once you are on the bike, you get inspired, so it goes as it goes, and it went great for me, so I'm grateful. Sharing the fun is a big part of what the GS Trophy is all about. Big smiles from all the riders and the local children full of joy as they get up close with a GS motorbike for the first time. The afternoon ride will now take them on more challenging terrain as they meander through the countryside, riding on gravel, dusty trails and dashing through muddy puddles, giving their teammates a refreshing shower. They arrive shortly before sunset on the shores of Lake Orit, the deepest lake in Albania. This provides a calming and relaxing backdrop for tonight's camp after a rough day in the saddle. Hidden gem is the right explanation for this country. It's just awesome, just uh, hardcore, hardcore enduro riding on these uh, 1250s. <laughs> The evenings give riders time to recharge and relax, to share pictures and the best stories of the day with other team members while waiting for the competition results. <laughs> Two days down, five more to go. Catch the next episode for more gritty GS Trophy action from Albania.